You know, I've been interested in space since before I can remember. When I was just a little kid, it was a passion of mine. I wanted to go there, I wanted to be part of this great adventure, to see the stars, to f do backflips in microgravity, to study what was out there. She represents the pinnacle of what Space Camp is all about. The desire, the passion to live the life of a space explorer. Erica Wagner was in the fourth grade when she first came to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center on a field trip. She was fascinated by the rockets and space history on display. When she found out about Space Camp, though, she started lobbying her parents to attend. I saved up all of my babysitting money for a number of years. I talked my parents into sending me twice, uh, and it was a major part of, of how I established that space was going to be a part of my future and not just my dreams. Once at Space Camp, Erica discovered that she was not alone in her love for space. Before I went to space camp, I thought space was just something that I loved. When I got there and I realized how many other people shared this passion, I realized I wasn't alone. And that gave me confidence and momentum to go into high school and go into college knowing that I could go down this path and that there was a place where, at the end of it, I could see myself. After high school, Erica attended Vanderbilt University, earning her bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering. Erica then proceeded to further her education at MIT, getting a master's in aeronautics and astronautics. She was a fantastic student, but really friend and colleague and mentor. As a faculty member, that's what we say. The highlight is working with students when they become your peers and when they have better questions, research questions than you have. That's Erica to a T. It was during Erica's time at MIT that she first met Peter Diamandis, the founder of the X Prize Foundation. Her passion was on uh, biology, medicine, and getting to the stars herself. And so we first started working together through the XPRIZE Foundation, and she ended up creating what was the XPRIZE Lab at MIT, which became a model for us at other universities. Upon completing her master's, Erica began to pursue her PhD in bioastronautics from the Harvard-MIT Division of Health Sciences and Technology. Her PhD was this incredible example of studying biomechanics of lunar 1,6G and Mars 3,8G performance. She came up with the mouse model. Let's have animals, uh, mice, because guess what? Then we can run 30 at a time. It's really um, the best, the gold standard for partial gravity unloading systems. Following MIT, Erica went to work for Peter Diamandis at XPRIZE. These days, Erica works for Blue Origin, seeking to help make space travel more accessible to all. What we're doing now in commercial space is saying that anyone can go to space, that anybody can be a part of this dream. I, I have a deep-seated passion to, to be there, to see this with my own two eyes. Beyond that, though, I think it's important that we are opening up these doors so more people can go, so that the population that is in space looks a lot like the population on Earth. Many colors, all genders, really starting to think about space not only in terms of science and engineering, but also in terms of the arts and the humanities. As well as working to democratize space, Erica is passionate about inspiring new generations. She sits on the board of the Museum of Flight in Seattle, where she helps with their aerospace camp experience. She also is an in-demand public speaker. Even after all these years, Erica still feels that Space Camp played a role in fostering her dreams. Space Camp is one of those places where dreams come to life. I think that it is really the, the way of living out our dreams and of seeding the, the potential for what comes next. The Space Camp Hall of Fame is filled with people that I admire for their contributions in science and technology and exploration. I can't imagine a better place to be a part of.